Hello and welcome to my guide to the new Garrison Jukebox feature. In this video I'm going to show you how to get all of the known music roles, but before you do this guide, you should ensure that you have unlocked the jukebox in your garrison. Don't worry though, it's really simple, you just need to complete the series of quests that starts at your garrison. Now the guide is split up into sections and you can access the various sections by just clicking on the annotations. Anyway, with all that said, let's just get into the guide. Let's start off with the world stuff. So first of all, the Totems of the Grizzle Maw track, which is the really cool stuff from the Grizzly Hills, is sold by a wandering NPC called Remington Broad. Now I'll show up a map on your screen and essentially he will patrol around the location that's marked. So what you want to do is find him and then talk to him. When you talk to him, you'll see a bunch of dialogue options. You want to do them in this order. Breathe deeply, then say, I'm looking for a song, then say, a song about the wilderness, and finally say yes. If you do that right, he will give you the music role. The next world-based one is Lament of the Highborn. Now this one is located inside Sylvanus's throne room in the Undercity. You'll find it just behind one of the Banshees that's chilling out there. Now it is lootable by both Alliance and Horde players, though obviously if you are Alliance, it will be a little bit more tricky to get. And while we're still in and around the Terrace Fall Glades, the next music role is the Fairy Dragon one. This is from a world event that happens frequently in the Terrace Fall Glades. Just go to the location on the map and then wait. There's this little dragon event that happens every once in a while. It's actually quite common. And the dragons will convene and then shoot beams into the center of a ring and some music will play and they'll float about the place. When you see them shoot the beams, then underneath where all the beams meet, a little item will spawn. If you click on that, you'll be able to loot it, and that's where you'll get the music roll. Next, we've got the Black Temple. This drops from a treasure in the old version of Shadow Moon Valley. Just go to the location on the map, head down the little dungeon thingy, go down the corridor, and you'll see my character get it on the screen. The next bit of music is the Magic track. This is located in Ashenvale. Just go to the location on the map, and there is a treasure called the Lost Sentinel's Pouch. You'll find the music roll inside that. And keeping things night elfish, we've got the Shalandis Isle theme. This music roll is obtained just inside the Temple of the Moon in Darnassus. You want to go into the Temple of the Moon, then go up to the top floor and go to the location that you'll see. Just loot the item. I suppose this is the Alliance equivalent of Lament of the Highborn, and it is lootable by Horde players as well, just that it is obviously going to be quite a bit harder to pick that up if you are the Horde. Next, the Mountains music role is hidden away inside Winterspring. It's kind of tricky to find, but if you go to the exact location on the map, then you'll be able to loot it and that will get you the music role. The next music role is Angelic. Now this one might be a little bit harder to get. It's actually contained inside the chest in the Gurubashi Arena that is in the Cape of Stranglethorn. Every few hours, the arena event will spawn and essentially you fight to the death. Whoever wins at the end is able to loot the chest and that will get you the music roll. And finally, we've got a bit of a peculiar one. So the ghost theme is located in the Raven Hill Cemetery in Duskwood. The only catch though is you do have to be dead if you want to get it. So once you're dead, run to the location on the map and talk to the for uh, forlorn composer NPC. He'll just give the role to you. An easy way to kill yourself is just to fly up really high, then plummet to your doom, and while you're there, chat to the forlorn guy, and woohoo, you'll get your ghost music role if you really want to creep yourself out when you're in your garrison. Right, now that the world stuff is covered, let's have a bit of a chat about factions. So, the Argent Tournament music is actually pretty simple to get. It costs a mere 25 champion seals, and it's sold from the faction vendors in the Argent Tournament. Though, of course, you do have to do a little bit of work to unlock that stage of the Argent Tournament, so just grind that out and you'll eventually be able to purchase it. The next track is Lu Lang. This is actually purchased from the Lore Walkers in the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. It costs a mere 100 gold, but you will need to be revered with the faction. To do that, just go into like YouTube or Google or something, type in, you know, Lore Walkers rep guide. It's really quite easy to get. Um, you can actually get exalted in like an hour and that gets you a really cool flying disc mount. So it's probably worth doing anyway. And finally, we've got the Dark Moon Carousel theme. This costs 90 Dark Moon prize tokens and it's sold by Chester inside the Dark Moon Fair. So just wait till the Dark Moon Fair is in town. Go do that and you'll be fine. Now that that stuff is covered, it's time to talk about the boss drop stuff. Now this is not a 100% drop rate, okay? So 
I'm not 100% sure exactly what the rate is because we've got limited data to work with from the PTR, but suffice to say, you will be going back to these raids a few times to, um, to actually get these. So first of all, Legends, which is the original World of Warcraft theme, drops from Netherian in Blackwing Descent. It's a very easy thing to solo at level 100. Next, the Burning Legion drops from Illidan in Black Temple, which of course is extremely trivial at this stage. Also, the Karazhan Opera theme will drop from, you guess it, the Opera House boss event thingy in Karazhan. Again, really simple to do. Next, let's move on to the Wrath of the Lich King stuff. So, the actual Wrath of the Lich King theme music roll will drop from Kel'Thuzad in Nax Ramas. And then Invincible, which is the main theme of the Lich King, will drop from the Lich King in ICC. And finally for Wrath of the Lich King, Mountains of Thunder will drop from Loken in the Halls of Lightning instance. Now, you don't actually need to do this on Heroic, you can do it on Normal, which of course means you can repeat it multiple times rather than being held to a single lockout. Next, you'll find that the Shattering, which is the theme of Cataclysm drops from Deathwing, that stuff can be sort of tricky-ish to some people, it is all completely soluble of course, but it's worth looking up some of the tactics, especially for the Spine of Deathwing, or the, the thing when you're flying so you don't get thrown off it when he rolls over. Next, Heart of Pandaria will actually drop from the Shah of Fear in the Terrace of Eternal Springs. Then finally, Siege of Worlds drops from Blackhand in Blackrock Foundry. Siege of Worlds, if you're not sure, is the theme tune to Warlords of Draenor. Next, let's move on to the faction-based music roles, and I'm going to start off with the Horde. Now, this um, first selection that I'm going to give you are the music roles that actually are just given to you by default. So, they are Orgrimmar, Undercity, Thunder Bluff, Zandalari, Silvermoon, Rescue the Wardchief, and Way of the Monk. Next, Mulgore Plains drops from Fishing in the Pools of Vision in Mulgore. I think it's in Thunderbluff, even. Now, this is rather odd, actually, because this was also the music of Westfall for Alliance players, but it doesn't seem like Alliance people are able to fish it up. You should be fine. Just sit there and fish for a bit. It's not a 100% drop rate, so it might take a little bit of time. Next, War March comes from Domination Point. This is basically just purchased from the vendor who you pay with the tokens that you got from the patch 5.1 stuff, so you'll probably have to kill some alliance mobs and do some of the dailies to get the tokens, and it costs 500 of those tokens. The next Horde-specific one is Zulgurub Voodoo. This just drops from Jindo the Godbreaker, who's the final boss of Zulgurub. It apparently only drops for Horde players, though. The alliance equivalent of this appears to be Tinkertown. Now that's all of the Horde stuff covered, so let's hop over to the Alliance. Now, as with the Horde, the Alliance people get a whole bunch of tracks unlocked for free as soon as you actually unlock the Garrison Jukebox. And those tracks are Curse of the Worgen, Gnomeregon, Exodar, Ironforge, Stormwind, Night Song, and Way of the Monk. Now, of course, there are a few that you need to get yourself, so let's start off with Cold Mountain. This is fished from the pool place in Ironforge. You don't actually need max level fishing or anything like that, just like the Horde's thing and, you know, for the Mulgore Plains track, you just need a little bit of patience to get this to drop for you. The next track is Tinkertown. This is found in Gnomeregon, and what you need to do here is farm up grime-encrusted objects from the mobs that are inside the instance. Then go to the clean zone, which is the sort of friendly place in Gnomeregon, and go to the Sparklematic 5200 machine, you then just turn those objects in, and when you turn in the grime-encrusted objects, you get a Sparklematic wrapped box. The music roll has got a chance of dropping from that box. Then finally, for the Alliance, High Seas is got in Lion's Landing. Just like with the Horde one, what you need to do is get 500 of the Lion's Landing tokens, then go to the token reputation vendor person and just purchase the track. It's pretty simple. And with that final music roll covered, that is the end of the guide. That should be all of the various music rolls covered, but if there are any more, I'll update you via an annotation. If you're interested in more World of Warcraft content five days a week, then be sure to check out the channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.